Welcome to another episode of Haunted America. Today we continue our journey in the state of Washington. Ghost towns are notorious places for activity and just plain creepy feelings. And that's why today we're talking about the Monte Cristo Ghost Town. Before we get into the show, if you have any haunted stories you'd like to share with us and have read on the show, email us at hauntedamericapodcast at gmail.com. And if you'd like to support our never-ending quest for answers into the paranormal, think about donating to help us out. Link is in the description below. Any donation is greatly appreciated. Or subscribe to our Patreon to get exclusive content such as post-investigation mini-podcasts and much more. One last thing. If you are in the New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio region and know any places we could investigate, let us know. Jess himself has over 25 years experience within the paranormal field, and myself being a medium, we are able to give more insight and communication as to the hauntings of these places. We are available upon request, free of charge. Once again, you can contact us by emailing us at hauntedamericapodcast at gmail.com. Now, let's get into the episode. Like many now ghost towns in the Pacific Northwest, Monte Cristo was a mining town that quickly saw a rise and a fall. Monte Cristo sits about 80 miles or so from Seattle and about a two-hour drive from Portland. This mining town brought thousands of men to this isolated area on the eastern edge of Sonomish County. Back in 1889, the area was first explored by prospectors hoping to find a mountainous area full of possible riches. Rumor has it, it was a prospector by the name of Joe Pearsall who first discovered signs of valuable minerals there in 1889. It didn't take long for the word to spread and mining claims seemed to be popping up everywhere along the area. Roads were built along the south fork of the Salk River for better access. By the time 1895 rolled around, there were hundreds of claims and more than a dozen mines. Two of the major mines were purchased by John D. Rockefeller, and at its peak, the town reached almost a thousand residents. From 1893 until 1896, the town grew steadily and eventually a railway was completed out to the town to help ship the valuable ore back from the five main mines. Those mines are the Pride, New Discovery, Justice, Golden Cord, and Comet Mines. Miners mostly ran across gold, copper, and silver and eventually a large ore concentrator was built in 1894. You can still see the collapsed remains of that building to this day. Unfortunately, problems with funding, flooding, and declining mining potential caused production to cease by 1907. As the mining faded, Monte Cristo eventually disappeared. Monte Cristo is a true ghost town today. A few relics remain, but not much, so when visiting, do respect the remaining structures and property. Take photos and imagine the scene here more than a hundred years ago, teeming with men with tramways bringing ore down from the steep hillsides. Now, if you ever do decide to visit the town for yourself, just know you should be prepared to hike a bit to get there. I believe I saw it was about a four mile hike from the nearest parking lot. That makes this about eight miles of hiking round trip. So be prepared with plenty of water and snacks to get you there. However, if you're like us, you'll be in for a lot more miles than that. Just from searching nonstop around the area of the old town. You'll encounter obstacles upon your way, such as having to cross a log across a stream. But just know the hard travel's worth it. And chances are, you and your team won't be the only ones making their way on the trails. We recommend printing off the trail directions before setting out, because more than likely being this far off the main roads, you probably won't have much cell service. 
Now let's get into some of the hauntings and side stories here. This abandoned mining town, like many, had to have seen its share of miners' deaths in just its few years of peak operation, from floods to just plain accidental deaths in the mining shafts themselves. As you near the town of Monte Cristo, the fear factor may arise, knowing that you're not the only ones in the area, and who knows, maybe a few spirits from the miners are watching your every move from just around the corner. Today, we have a few first-hand stories of possible hauntings still occurring at the Monte Cristo ghost town. This quote is from Minor Racket on Washington Haunted House's website. I went on a backpacking trip to Monte Cristo Basin, where the actual mines are. First evening, I stayed in a little campsite up on a slight hill up to the left, up a little road behind the small wooden bathroom right next to the road. That evening, as I went in my tent getting ready to crawl into my sleeping bag, I heard the distinct sound of three or four men's echoing voices and clanging equipment and rocks. It's interesting thing is, the actual mines are about four miles or so up the trail into the basin. I did not imagine it. I experienced it. It was one and only experience in Monte Cristo. Now, it is possible that the voices that Miner's Racket heard were just voices of other people's uh, other interesting parties in the area. But... This is a podcast about haunted things, so we're going to assume that what this person heard was indeed voices of miners stuck in the times. Perhaps they were just engaging in a simple conversation as they were on their way into the mines. Just for a second, think about all the miners in the years that the Monte Cristo mines were open that made their way into the mines for what would be the last time, and they and all their friends and family didn't know it. I could never do a job like that. Not knowing if you'll make it back out that night. Too many things I can't control. That kind of energy is, is possibly implanted on that land forever. Many people report as they make their way towards the mines, getting the feeling of being watched. And honestly, I believe that this is the miners kind of like projecting their energy towards the people perhaps letting them know just to stay clear of the possible dangers that could lie ahead. Many investigators that head there say that every now and then you can catch a glimpse of a miner walking around the wide open spaces between the mountains. Other than that, as talked about earlier, you can hear miners talking with each other. But above all, this is just a really freaking cool place to visit and well worth the hike into the town. So, tell us, would you journey into the Monte Cristo ghost town? Because we would. And that's why it sits in a spot on... Haunted America. Haunted America.